Today we're going to be working with power reducing identities with the OMG math method. So our power reducing identities are given as follows. They look pretty simple. Um, the problem we're going to do today is pretty intense. So be ready for a lot of math and a lot of algebra and a lot of trig all mixed into one problem. So the problem we're given says rewrite cosine of x to the fourth or cosine to the fourth x in terms of trigonometric functions with no power greater than one. The first thing we observe and pretty much the only thing to observe for this problem is that we're given cosine and that it has an exponent of four. Our mission is to take that expression cosine to the fourth x and rewrite it so cosine has no exponents greater than one. Our game plan for doing this is to use our trig identities to reduce powers and expand the expression. So what I decided to do, since I have really terrible handwriting on this, I wrote all this out um, before I started the problem. So I'm gonna walk you through kind of how I did it and it's gonna be typed nicely instead of my awful handwriting. So we start with what we're given, cosine to the fourth x. We can rewrite that pretty simply as this. So we can rewrite it. We've already reduced the power because we can rewrite cosine to the fourth x as this. While cosine squared x and cosine squared x are one of our power reducing identities, so we're going to take each of those and replace it with its power reducing identity. So we took cosine squared x and replaced it with this and we took the other one and also replaced it because those are the identities that we've just been given on the previous slide. Then from there, if only we were done, we are not done because we can multiply these together, which means once we start multiplying, the power will get bigger than one. So we have to go through and do that. So we go through and we foil the top, which leaves us with one plus two cosine two x plus cosine two x quantity squared over four. Then from here, we see, okay, these have no powers greater than one, fantastic, but we still have this piece right here that has a power greater than one. So we're gonna take this piece and we're also going to use the power reducing identity again. So everything stays the same, but this piece right here becomes one plus cosine four X over two. Now the reason it's 4x and not 2x is the formula itself already has a 2 there. So since we're plugging in a 2x, 2x times 2, which is already in the formula, gives us 4. So if this was 8, when we plug it into the formula, it would be 16. So it's 2x and we already have a 2, so then it's 4x. Then from here, we see that we have these giant fractions on top of fractions, so we're going to keep simplifying by making common denominators on the numerator so that we can get one fraction on the top. From there, we go through after we made common denominators. Since this denominator is two, all of these denominators get twos. One becomes two over two. Two cosine two x becomes four cosine two x over two because we have to multiply the top and the bottom by two. This one does not change, thankfully. So now we have this mess to deal with. Well, I don't like having three separate fractions over another fraction, so we're gonna rewrite that. On the top, we're gonna simplify and combine like terms. So we have a two and a one, which makes this three. Four cosine two x, there's no other cosine two x's, so those stay the same, and then we have cosine four x. These cannot be combined. They cannot be combined because they're not the same. They have to have exactly the same input in order for you to combine those terms. So we've simplified the numerator. Now we're going to deal with the denominator. Instead of writing it as a fraction over a fraction again, I like to write it as a division symbol. So now I have this piece that's being divided by four. So when I write that out, I get keep change flip. I take my first piece, I change division to multiplication, and I flip four to one fourth, and then from there, I simplify. So two times four is eight. The numerator doesn't change because it's being multiplied by one. And then the final answer, every textbook is gonna give you a different answer, but 
the way that we decided to write it out is this. We just broke it up into three separate pieces. All of them have the fraction parts. Three divided by eight is three eighths. Four divided by eight is one half. And then there's no number up here, so we know that would be a one, so one over eight cosine four x. So it's a really long problem for a really long answer, um, but we've done it and we know how to do it. So this is probably the most complicated problem you could get with power reducing in terms of starting with something that looks so simple and ending up with something so large. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you want to get better at math, subscribe to my videos here. If you want more information on math, click on my website link here.